My name is Josh Schumer uh, with Cardiac Science. I've been with the company for about two and a half years. I oversee all of our customers between Delaware down to Virginia over to West Virginia uh, and everywhere in between. I've been a firefighter for 17 and a half years as a firefighter EMT, also as a lieutenant for the last 11. Uh, a lot of my experience, plays, what I do in the fire service plays into what I do every day with cardiac science as far as saving lives, educating the public on public access defibrillation and putting the AEDs in, obviously in the public um, to save lives, which is our ultimate goal. Cardiac science was founded 27 years ago. We are a leader in defibrillation technology, we have over 100 patents in over 100 countries. Um, over the AEDs that we manufacture come in about 45 different languages. Um, so they are worldwide and state-of-the-art product. So back 27 years ago, when uh, roughly 27 years ago, when the AEDs started uh, in the public, they were literally two paddles, and you had to put gel in there and manually defibrillate your patient. They've evolved to literally just opening the lid of the AED, placing the pads on the patient, listening to, to the commands, and just following along. They're great, so they can either be used by the professional rescuer as a firefighter, an EMT, or law enforcement, or they can be used in the public access where a good Samaritan is just trying to save a life, grabs the AED and just follows along with the prompts. They've come a long way, they come in multiple languages. Uh, the technology is absolutely incredible now. My name's Danny Berger and I've been playing basketball for a long time. It's been part of my life forever. I've been a healthy guy, always active uh, my entire life. And I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship to go play basketball at Utah State University. I played one year at Utah State and going into my second year there, we were at practice and we were just kind of walking through some stuff, doing some half speed drills and I collapsed on the court. Mike Williams comes over, he analyzes the situation, starts doing CPR on me. While he's doing that, my, my roommate, Jesse Parker, runs up and grabs the cardiac science AED. He brought it down to Mike. Mike opened it up and it tells you directions. It's, it's really simple how to do it. Mike hooked, it, hooked the pads up to me um, where it was directed. It analyzed my heart rhythm and it said shock was advised. It, it shocked my heart. The ambulance came shortly after. Um, I was life flighted to the hospital. I was lucky enough to be saved by one of these great devices and I'm grateful for everyone that was involved. If it happened to me, it can happen to anybody. If it wasn't for that AED being there, the chance of survival would have gone down extremely fast. The chance of survival drops 10% every minute when the AED uh, shock is not delivered. So it's kind of two things. It's, it's quality CPR, which the coach was doing, and then the other piece is getting the AED shock delivered quickly. Uh, in well under you know three minutes if possible, which is the AHA guideline, you want to be able to grab an AED within 90 seconds back to the patient and then have that shock delivered all in that time frame. Uh, when you don't have that ability, like Danny fortunately did, unfortunately these are the stories that we hear about when players and athletes and you know just people in the public pass away because there are no AEDs present. This contract allows AEDs to be placed in public access, which includes K through 12, universities, law enforcement, and all their public facilities. The more we can get these AEDs into public places and schools, the better. Thanks to the NASPO Value Point contract, they make it much easier to accomplish that. I'm here to tell you that it really can save lives. It saved mine.